Hi everyone, I've got good news. So I think we can safely say that one-to-one -one gestures are improving a lot on KD Plasma, given that you're using the Wayland version. And of course, it's not 3D yet, but also GNOME also doesn't have gestures on X11, and it's very difficult to port them to X. So if you want gestures, you do need to use Wayland. But I think Wayland is pretty good. I use it daily at this point. What are these gestures? So it's mostly about two merge requests and a half, we could say, let's discuss it later, that really improved the system by a lot. So we had one-to-one -one gestures already. What was the issue with it? So it has some quirks. First of all, it only worked if you were using it for the desktop grid. Anything else didn't work. And this is actually covered by this merge request, which is a draft, of course, it's not 3D, but I've tried it and it actually kind of works. And you can actually do slide effect, so switch between desktops using the gestures as well, which is super nice. And it even adds a way to, um, in here, which is the other merge request, it even adds a way to uh, do pinch gestures. So if you have like the four directions to switch between workspaces, if you have a desktop grid, then you can also have a pinch to actually switch to the, the uh, Sorry, if you have the um, if you have a desktop grid and you're using the gestures to use the slide animation, you can also use the pinch to access to the desktop grid. Sorry, got confused, which is super cool. Also, another big issue with the current gestures is that if you're doing them in one direction and then you change direction, you go back, the effect just immediately turns off, which is a bit weird because it's supposed to go back as well, but maybe then you go forward, it's supposed to follow you. Instead, as soon as you change direction, it's over. And this is actually addressed. In this patch, gestures can now be reversed without lifting fingers. At the same time, it's apparently also addressed in this patch, gestures lock a direction when doing gestures, which is weird. I didn't understand the difference, but uh, I'm sure the author will tell me within 10 minutes and I'll tell you. And generally speaking, they're much better. We have a video, but I also did a video. Let me turn off the audio. As you can see, it actually works and it's very nice. It still requires some improvement, but I think that if before this we were like 30% there, now it's 80, I think. What's missing? Now, uh, if you do adjuster and uh, you switch, I'm on GNOME right now, let's use this as an example. I go all the way until to the desktop uh, grid. Then in theory, if you haven't um, removed your fingers from the touchpad, you should also be able to go back. And that currently is not the case and it feels a bit weird. It's also currently not possible to customize what gestures should do what, but hopefully that shouldn't be too difficult to implement as soon as other things actually use the gesture system. Right now it's only the desktop grid. After this patch, it will be desktop grid and the slide effect. Hopefully the new overview effect will be also implemented with the desktop with the touchpad gestures, but there's no one currently working on that, so who knows? And I gotta say that this is the very, very first merge request to KDE done with Eric, uh, by Eric Edlund, uh, sorry, Ed Edlund, without the on. And um, I'm impressed. I think that if something like this was my first patch, I would be so proud. Uh, my first patch was, let's say, not as exciting to say the least. You can see the video I've done about that. So super exciting stuff, improvements are coming. I think that within six months, we will have a good one-to-one -one gestures in KD Plasma 2, which is good news. Let's also quickly go through other changes that are going on right now. Right now, there is actually a sprint to work on what KD Plasma 6 uh, should be. And don't get too excited. It's mostly about the technical stuff and that one usually kills all the fun, but nonetheless, a lot of uh, is happening in the sprint and everything else doesn't get quite the same attention, I think. Something interesting is this uh, rather old actually merge request because this discussion has been super long and suddenly had, uh, it had died. This started, however, from an idea from Reddit 
sometimes very good idea come out of Reddit. And the idea is to change the arrow in the system tray, which is rather inconsistent and looks weird, to something like this, which is much cleaner. I'm a big fan, however, well, the original merge request got really lost in the discussion for months. So now it's probably coming together. Let's actually put a um, plus one right away, okay. This one is interesting. It's about aligning applet labels in the sysentry. tray. So sysentry getting, getting a lot of um, refinements. If you are in the sysentry tray view with all of the hidden applets, now the labels are better aligned. And what I think is particularly cool um, of this patch is that it is done by the developer of Latidoc who has also just fixed the corners bug. And I'm going to do a whole another video about it. But well, now you know, the corners bug is officially fixed. So what happens now is that uh, themes that do have that bug need to now ship a new um, SVG, which is called mask.svg. I think that users can also uh, add it manually and I will do a tutorial on actually how to fix your theme if it's broken. So a lot of exciting things happening. We've got gestures coming together and the corners bug is getting fixed. What else? Couple of things. Now this looks like this, which is much better. And I think this is the kind of polishment that, well, okay, that should have been the case already. So thanks a lot for actually doing this because I totally didn't notice. And finally, this is uh, the kind of patch that uh, is like very small, but at the same time, it seems really funny to me. Like I really enjoy seeing this patch. Now Kiranor can actually convert between table spoon and table, uh, what is it? Is this? Sorry, teaspoon and tablespoon, because apparently there is a FDA standard standard for what a teaspoon and a tablespoon actually contain. Wow! And if you didn't know, it's five uh, milliliters and fifteen milliliters. And now Kerner supports this. It, it's awesome. I don't know, it's one of those things, like it's super nice that on one end we've got gestures and corners back being fixed. On the other end, we've got teaspoons being implemented in KD Plasma. So my video is going to be titled gestures, corners back getting fixed and KD Plasma adding support for tablespoons. And I think that was everything interesting. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, learned something new. If you want to see more uh, stuff happening, even like more updated, there is a blog by Nate Graham, which is called The Pointest Stick. And you can easily find it by searching on Google or whatever Pointest Stick KD Plasma. And it has weekly all of the updates. So check it out. And if you want, you can help me make videos and everything by uh, donating through Patreon people, blah, blah, blah. But also you can just for free actually, and you can even change your mind later as Dream says, uh, subscribe to the channel and whatever. See you tomorrow.